Hello everybody, thanks for joining me again. Well, something a little bit different this week. I'm up in the Peak District in Edale. Come up to see some good friends of mine. And although the weather's a little bit overcast, we're gonna have a little bit of a trip around the Peak District to see what we can find photography-wise. But first, we're down on the farm and uh, Steve is um, feeding the cow, cows and sheep this morning. What a lovely spot. Really glad I've come up. Anyway, let's see what we can find, shall we? Well, while I'm waiting for Steve, I thought I'd quickly explain a little bit about this week's video. I wasn't really going out with the intention of filming much, but we did get some really nice photographs, especially at sunrise and sunset at Mam Tor and when it's past. And also, it's just coming up to the rutting season, so we were out on the moor looking for some stags. Anyway, let's see what I did get up to. So we've just come up onto the Eastern Moor, the big moor as they call it around here, as you can see. And uh, there's some stags somewhere out there, so we're gonna go and try our luck to see if we can find some. Well I've just spotted some on the horizon there so we're going to take the path and uh, try and keep ourselves downwind of them and see how close we can get. Well, there were a few other people walking along the path, so we took a diversion to the right into the longer grass. And it wasn't long before we came across this small group of deer. You can see there's a very young stag in the middle and a few hinds. But as you can see from the one on the right, it wasn't long before they got wind of us. So I managed this shot. And this one of the young stag looking at us. Unfortunately, I could get myself into a decent position to get a good background. But not a bad start to the day. So we just moved on a bit along to White Edge. Just seen a young stag with a few hens with him. Just come over the brow of this small hill and they were down in the dip so they did see us coming. But they've now ended up in the uh, under the trees up there. Very difficult, even though we're down wind, they could still see us approaching. Well, fortunately, we didn't spook the uh, deer too much, they just moved on into a bit more cover. But before they did, I got some really nice uh, photographs of the stag. 
still a young one but as you can see this is the best with him looking straight at us really nice shot So we moved on again, we're at Padley Gorge and come across this uh, millstone factory, little quarry here. Well, we've got to carry on and see what else we can find. We're going to be coming back this way, so uh, we'll have a look there and see if there's anything. So I've travelled all the way up to the Peak District and uh, managed to find a way to what looks like a Dartmoor woodland. So, so yeah, I've decided to stop. These twisted uh, oak trees are quite nice. It's just a matter of uh, walking around and finding a nice composition where you separate the trunks. Let's give that a go. So, what am I doing? So, F11, ISO 100 is quite dim in here and uh, currently up at uh, 1.6th of a second. I've got a circular polarizer on just to enhance the colours a little bit. Just watching the histogram. As I said, it's quite dull in here, so your eyes get used to the light. What I'm looking for with this is really I'm pushing the histogram slightly to the left, to the shadows, making sure there's no highlights blown out at this end. You can see just at the top here, these highlights are really blown out. But if I bring it all the way down so there's nothing, then it's just too dark. So it's a bit of a compromise. Some Somewhere around there. Okay. Well, it was quite a bright day, no mist to give some mood to the shot, so neither of these photographs are going to win any awards, but I am quite pleased with the composition. Quite like the uh, tree on the right as it zigzags into the shot and almost points to uh, his uh, bunch of friends behind. I've taken the saturation down a little bit, just to give it a little bit more mood. And then there's the Fab Four, these uh, four trees in the foreground. Again, it's quite a bright shot and the separation from the background is not great. But I'm quite pleased with these two photographs, given the conditions. And it's always good to uh, practice. Okay, let's go on to the next uh, location. So we're continuing our walk down the gorge. Hopefully you can hear me over the water. Not much water coming down today, so to get any good shots, um, you have to get into some difficult positions. <laughs> All good fun though. Well, fun as it may be, I wasn't as adventurous. But I did find this millstone with a uh, nice tree and some gnarly roots behind it. I'm sure this is one of the locations which is uh, been photographed thousands of times. As you can see, what I've done with the shot is uh, taken down the greens and just left the uh, yellows and rusty colours of these uh, few fallen leaves. And I thought that uh, 
really accentuated the branches in the background and made a better shot than if I'd have left it with all the greenery.